Namaste, yogis. My name is Andrew Seeley, and I'm here to welcome you to the Aloe Yoga Store here in the Grove. Today, we'll be doing a happy hamstrings class, focusing specifically on lengthening the hamstrings. Make sure to subscribe below and comment. Let me know what you think. So go ahead and allow your whole leg to lengthen. We'll start fully in Shavasana. Release the hips. Allow your whole spine to be flush with the mat. Relax your mind and take a few deep breaths, settle in. So often that we're running around town, we're pressing the gas pedal all day, so now you have the opportunity to breathe into your body, to focus your mind, and to truly shine your heart. Take a deep inhale here. As you exhale, draw the right knee into the chest. Bring the left toes up towards the sky. We'll begin with some gentle circles of the right hip, creating some space in the hip socket. Go ahead and opposite the rotation, bringing some fresh energy into the legs. Bring your left hand to your left hip, right hand to your right knee. And take some bigger circles, really creating a sense of mindful movement. See if you can spread out your toes opposite the rotation. Interlace your hands behind the kneecap, right on the thigh, or what we call the hamstring, those four muscles. Nice deep inhale as you draw the right knee in towards the right shoulder. Extend the left heel out as far as it'll go. Bring it back in. Extend out. Bring it back in. Extend out. Bring it back in. Extend out. Last one in and out. Go ahead and bring the right foot to the center. Again, we can interlace the hands behind the knee, maybe behind the calf, could even be behind the ankle depending upon your flexibility. There's no need to judge where you are today. Just make sure to breathe into your body right here, right now. We'll take some circles in the ankle, creating space. Opposite the rotation. Nice. Now keep your hands where they are. Flex the toes towards the shin. Engage the right leg, especially the quadricep, the front of the leg. And sway from the right with an inhale and to the left with an exhale. To the right with an inhale. To the left with an exhale. To the right. To the left, to the right, and to the left. Put a gentle bend in your right knee and bring the right knee onto the left side body. Create space in the upper back and lower back by extending your right palm. Look towards your thumb, deepening the inhales and the exhales, creating some space across the chest for three, for two, and one, inhale back to center. Draw your right knee in as close as you can towards your chin. Flex your toes towards your shin. Palms face up towards the sky, deep inhale. Exhale, switch, inhale, switch, inhale, exhale, switch. Keep it going, five, four, three, two, one, draw the left knee into the chest. Again, take a few circles with the knee left. This is your opportunity to breathe into the body, to unravel the mind, opposite the rotation.
Right hand comes to your right hip, left knee, big circles, just deepening the rotation, creating greater space. Again, opposite the rotation. Interlace the hands behind the hamstring. Deep inhale as you extend. And it's okay if the foot veers off to the left. It's all good. Utilize your breath. We're just stretching out those hamstrings. And you may notice that one side is tighter than the other. That's usually how it is due to our dominant nature. Create space. Last two. And one. Feel free to interlace the hands behind the hamstring, the calf, could even be all the way up towards the ankle. Spread out your toes for some big circles here. Make sure to go both ways. You always want to keep your ankles lubricated. It's often that we're walking around town, we got to bring some awareness to those feet. Go ahead and take a gentle sway side to side. Deepening your awareness, deepening your breath. One, draw the left knee into your chest. Allow it to go onto your right side body. As you extend, place your gaze on your left thumb. Really use your breath to ride all the way up the spine, relaxing the shoulder, bringing fresh energy all the way from the palm to your toes. Last three two, one. Inhale brings you back through center. Hug that left knee into your chest. Flex the right toes. Lift the right leg. Again, engaging that right quadricep will help you to lengthen the hamstring. So we're gonna deep inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last three, two, one, draw both knees into your chest. Give yourself a few rounds on your back body. Find yourself at a comfortable cat-cow position, bringing the knees underneath your hips, palms underneath your shoulders. We'll take a gentle sway to the right, circling the hips, warming up the outsides of the legs. It's so often that we find ourselves tight in the hips and the hamstrings. So we really want to release that tension with some fluidity. Circular motions are the way that our joints work. We think about the knees, the hips, the shoulders. We're meant to create full range of motion so that our body can become more efficient and our mobility can bring us to a greater sense of ease in our day to day. Inhale brings you back to center. Go ahead and step the right foot in between the hands. Stack the right knee over the ankle. So our first step here. We can bring the back knee back, all depending upon your flexibility. Take a deep inhale, lift the chest, lengthen. As you exhale, pull the toes towards the shin. Inhale, lift and lengthen, heart forward. Exhale, pull the toes towards the shin. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, pull the toes towards the shin. And this time we're gonna hold. As you can see, I'm drawing the hip back as well. So really find the length. If you need to move the toes back, the heel back, or the fingers back, feel free to do so. If you're finding length in the hamstring, reach the fingertips forward and see if you can bow your head to the inside of the right leg. Keeping a flex in the toes, drawing the right hip up and back into space. Deep in the inhales for three, for two, for one. Now bring your hands to the inside of the right leg and walk them as far to the left as possible. We're going to take a bend in the right knee and some big circles here. 
This will really get into the outer right hip and create some length in the hamstring. Last three, two, one. Bring yourself back through center. Again, lengthen the right leg. This time we're going to bring the hands over that right leg and we're going to bring the pinky toe down towards the mat. As you can see, I'm still drawing the hip up and back. You want to find length in the hamstring as you sway side to side. And this is how you get into the IT band, which is the outer layer of fascia that runs parallel to your hamstring. So breathe into that space, create some depth in your awareness, some fluidity in your breath as you sway side to side here. This could be painful, so use your breath. Relax your forehead. Draw yourself back through center. Go ahead and point the toes and then flex. Point and then flex. Point and flex. Step back into the right knee. Draw the right knee back and take a few sways in the hip side to side. Nice big circles opposite the rotation. Left foot steps in between the hands. Again, stack the knee over the ankle. Find length in your chest. Deep inhale, lift forward. If you'd like, you can bring your back knee back a little bit. Exhale, stretch into the left hamstring. Deep inhale, lift and lengthen, heart forward. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last two. Inhale. Exhale, last one. Really pull the toes towards your shin. Relax your head and your neck. Again, your goal is to draw the left hip up into alignment with the right. And allow your head to rest on the inside of the left leg. Pulling the left pinky toe back. Engaging the quadricep. Find length in your breath. Put a bend back into your left knee. Walk the hands to the inside of the left leg. And as I extend out, my goal is really to pull myself away from that left knee. So I'm creating more space in my side body here. Big circles. Woo! Really get into it. Use your breath. This is your time to become more intimate with your body become more sensitive to your mind and the fluctuations of your breath, and then to find more focus and alignment as to where you're bringing the breath. Where is that breath going? Opposite the rotation. Inhale back to center. Lengthen the left leg. Once more, pull the toes towards the shin. Hands come over the left leg. Pull the pinky toe towards the mat. Woo Again, one side may be more tight than the other. For this side, it's definitely my left. Which is interesting because my right is usually my dominant foot. Inhale back through center. Press back into the left foot. Step the left foot back to meet the right. Lower knees, chest, chin. Scoop forward. Inhale. Exhale. Tuck the toes, hips up and back. Down dog pose. Pedaling into the feet, creating some engagement here. Utilize the breath as you press into the hands. Relax the head and the neck. Take a deep inhale. Bend your knees and walk the feet to the hands. 
Inhale, up halfway. Lift your chest. Lengthen. As you exhale, bring your hands to opposite elbows. Oftentimes, we find ourselves like this, and that may be just because the back is tight. So I want you to bend your knees and see if you can lengthen the elbows down and draw the navel in towards the midline. So instead of rounding, you fold. So you may find yourself here, like so, bending the knees enough to get your chest onto your thighs, extending the elbows forward, relax into the forward fold. Breathe into your hamstrings. Release your neck. As you begin to find more weight in your toes, lift your sacrum towards the sky. Almost as if someone was tugging a little fishing pole right at the end of your tailbone. Lift up, lengthen up. Relax the head and the neck. Deep inhale, gentle bend in your knees. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, hands to heart center. Awesome, energize the front of your legs. Find your feet and hips distance. Bring your hands to your lower back Engage the quadriceps and press the hips forward. Nice deep inhale. Draw the elbows on the back body. As you exhale, draw the navel in towards the midline. Inhale, hands reach up. Exhale, full forward fold. Plant your hands, bend your knees, step the feet back, plank pose. Lower, knees, chest, chin. Scoop, lift and lengthen. Exhale, down dog. Right leg reaches up to the sky. Put a bend in your knee. Take some large circles here. Creating space in the hip socket. Using the breath. Finding a sense of fluidity. Opposite the rotation. Flex the toes. Extend the right leg up. Step the foot in between the hands. Inhale, lift the chest, lengthen. Exhale, full forward fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Hold for three breaths. For two. Again, lifting that hip up into alignment with my left. And one. Put a bend in the knee. Stack your knee over your ankle. Lift your chest. Draw the navel in towards the midline. Find a lift in your lower belly as you stack your hands onto your knee. Reach your right hand forward and then your left. Create engagement in your right leg. You should feel that burn on your hamstring. Turn it on, turn it on, turn it on. Inhale, lift up, lengthen. Crescent pose. Deep inhale here. As you exhale, plant your back foot. Spread it out nice and wide. Warrior two. Deep inhale. We'll extend the right leg. As you exhale, put a bend in the right leg. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, last three. Exhale. Inhale, last two. Exhale. Inhale, last one. Exhale, hold in that warrior two. Find the length, find the expansion. Place your gaze over your fingertips. Use your breath for two and one. Straighten the right leg. Hands windmill down to the ground. Pivot onto the ball of the back foot. Bend the front knee, step back. Lower through chaturanga. Inhale up to your up dog. Exhale down dog. Relax here, reclaim your breath. Reclaim your poise and find a sense of presence in your posture. Nice deep inhale, left leg reaches up to the sky. Again, bend that knee, large circles, creating space in the hip. Opposite the rotation. Lift the left leg up to the sky. Step the foot in between the hands. Come up onto your fingertips. Utilize your breath. Draw the navel in towards the midline. 
hands on your knee. Lift and lengthen. Feel the lift of your lower abdominals as you reach your right hand and then your left hand forward. And again, press into your big toe. Feel the hamstring turn on. Inhale, rise up, crescent pose. Use that breath. Reach up, breathe up, lengthen up. Deep inhale. Exhale, plant your back foot parallel to the back of the mat. Spread it out, warrior two. Straighten the left leg. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Last two. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Last one. Hold. Use the breath. See that the front knee is pressing towards the front of the mat. Utilize the breath to find that stack. Nice. Straighten the left leg. Hands windmill down to the ground. Pivot onto the ball of the back foot. Left knee bends. Step the foot back. Lower. Chaturanga. Inhale. Up to your up dog. Exhale. Down dog. Bring your feet as wide as your mat. Now think of pressing your hips up and back. So you're finding the arch in your lower back. You can bring your hands in closer, pressing the hips up. Lift up, breathe up. So we're really stretching the insertion point of the hamstring, right where that glute and the hamstring meet. Use your breath. We call that area the thut. It's a space between your thigh and your butt. <laughs> Use your breath. Deep inhales, deep exhales. For three, for two, and one. Step the feet to the top of the mat. Inhale up halfway. Lift the chest. Exhale full forward fold. Inhale rise to stand. Exhale hands to heart center. Inhale lift and lengthen. Exhale. Now that the hamstrings are warm we can go a little bit deeper. Step hop lower through your chaturanga. Inhale up to your up dog. Exhale down dog. Right leg reaches up to the sky. Step the foot in between the hands. Rise up, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Reverse the warrior, lengthen. As you exhale, right hand comes to the inside of the right foot. Left hand reaches up to the sky. Think of turning open the chest. Deep inhale. Nice, lift up, warrior two. Straighten the right leg. Find extension in the right quadricep, reach forward, triangle pose. Fingertips can come onto the ground, onto your shin, or above the kneecap. Just make sure that you're lifting the chest, creating space through your side body, while at the same time engaging the right quadricep. Deep inhale. Deep exhale for two. One, left hand comes down to the ground, Put a bend in your right knee, pivot onto the ball of your back foot, and bring both hands to the inside of the right leg. Big circles here. Getting into that thut area once again. <laughs> Space between your thigh and your butt. Feels good. Use your breath. Take your time. Awesome work. Drop your back knee down onto the mat. Lift up onto your palms. Lift the chest forward. Now, we're going to reach the right hand back. So sometimes you can't put your hand onto the ankle, which is completely fine. If you'd like, you can grab a strap. Or if you'd like to take the muscular activity route to it, you can do a few hamstring curls. So bring the heel in towards you. So we're going to do three of those just to warm up that hamstring. And then we're actually going to grab the inside of the ankle, lifting the chest, pressing the toes, creating more space in our upper body. Deep in the inhales, deep in the exhales for two. And one. Gentle release of the back foot. Both hands come to the outside of the right foot. Lengthen out the right hamstring once more. And we'll be here for five breaths.
Press back into the right foot. Lift your back knee up. Gentle twist. Lift the right hand up to the sky. Open up. Keep a stack of the right knee above the right ankle. Exhale. Right hand comes down to the mat. Step through. Lower. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Down dog. Taking your time with your breath. Deep inhale, left leg reaches up to the sky. Step the right left foot in between the hands. Plant your right foot to a 45 degree angle. Inhale, rise. Exhale, open. Nice, reverse the warrior. Exhale. Straighten the left leg. Utilize the breath. Create buoyancy in your upper chest. Lift and lengthen forward. Fingertips can come onto the ground or onto the shin, whatever works best for you. Extend through your right fingertips. Use the inhales. Use the exhales. Create space. Again, engage the quadriceps so you can feel the length in your left hamstring. Nice deep inhale here. Mm -hmm. As you exhale, put a bend back in. Lengthen. Reach forward, left hand to the inside, the left foot, right hand reaches up to the sky. Create even more space, lift up, lengthen up. Deep inhale. As you exhale, right hand comes down, pivot onto the ball of the back foot. Elbows come down, if you can. If you need to stay up here, feel free to stay up here. If you'd like, bring those elbows down, big circles. Deepening the inhale, deepening the exhales. Relaxing the head and the neck. Plant your back knee down, come up onto your hands, lift the chest forward. Again, we reach the left hand to the right heel. If we can't reach the actual right heel, we can just pull in for three bicep curls hamstring bicep that is. <laughs> Last one you can pull and grab for the inside. Lifting the chest, creating more space through the front side of your quadricep. For three, for two, and one gentle release. Left hand comes to the outside of the left foot. Pull the toes towards the hamstring, relax. Five deep breaths, see if you can engage the quadricep, create more length through the left hamstring. Last two, and one. Plant your weight back into the left foot, lift your back knee up, left hand reaches up to the sky, gentle twist to finish it off, creating some space in the upper body. Deepening the inhales and the exhales. Lift and lengthen. Exhale, left hand comes down to the mat. Step left foot back, lower through chaturanga. Inhale, up to your up dog. Exhale, down dog. Use your inhales. Bring the feet as wide as your mat. Almost as if you could spread the mat with your feet. Press your ankles towards the outside of the mat. Press your hips up and back. Feel the connectivity of your glutes and your hamstrings. Use your breath to activate and lengthen. Last three breaths here. Look in between your hands and walk the feet forward. Bring the feet behind the wrists. Take a lovely malasana pose. Lift the chest, lengthen. Exhale, hands go forward. Take a few bounces into your hips, into your lower back. Use your breath, lengthen. Inhale, rise up. Wrap the right arm around. Bring your left hand to your left knee. Twist, lift the chest. Create as much space as possible 
Maybe you can wiggle your right arm up a little bit more. Lift up, breathe up, lengthen up. Inhale back to center. Both hands come to heart, lift and lengthen. Exhale, opposite direction. Rotate the arm. Right hand to right knee. Up, up, up with the chest, create space. For three, for two, and one. Inhale, back to center. Lift the chest. Exhale, hands reach forward, relax the head and the neck. Bring your hips onto the mat. Take a few rolls onto your back body. Now we'll sit with the legs extended forward. Keep the toes pointing up to the sky. Bring the right heel in towards your right glute. Deep inhale, wrap both arms around. Left toes point up towards the sky. Lift the spine, utilize your breath. Draw the left hand over the left foot. Right hand reaches through, thumb presses down. Wrap it around. Create space in your upper body and bow in. Should find some length on your lower back here. And if you draw the left elbow towards the ground, you'll find even more length through your left hamstring. Deep in the breath. Take your time for three, for two, and one. Inhale, rise up. Step your right foot over your left. Keep activity in the left toes. Left arm wraps around. Right hand comes to your rib cage. Create space for yourself. Lift up into your chest. Draw the right shoulder over. Place your gaze over the right shoulder. Now, if you're here and you want to go a little bit deeper, you can lift the left elbow and hook it on the outside of the left knee. Deepening the inhales, deepening the exhales. Use your breath to find a twist all the way from your sacrum to the crown of your head. Breathing up the spine for two and one. Gentle unravel brings you back to center. Now we'll bring the left heel in as well and stack the knees over each other for Gomukhasana. So this is called cow face pose, right? So we're gonna stack the knees over each other, lift the chest, lengthen, deep inhale, and as you exhale, fold to the extent that feels good for you. Some of you may have really tight glutes, so it's hard to get deep into this pose. Go to what feels best for you. Allow both sit bones to rest into the mat. Allow your head and your neck to melt. I like to place my knee right below my chin. Just hang out here for a few more breaths. Inhale, rise up. Take a gentle twist to the right extending your left fingertips as far away from you as possible. Sway the head side to side. Inhale back to center. Both hands go to the left. Lift the chest. See if you can bring your elbow into your right foot. Right elbow, right foot. Lift and lengthen, create space for three, two, one. Gentle release. Back to center we go, unravel the legs, give them a shake. It's a lot on that right leg right there, right? Should feel a little different in your hips. <laughs> Bring your hands to your glutes, create space. Left foot comes in towards your left glute. Right toes point up towards the sky. Wrap left arm and then right arm. Create more space in your upper body. Deep in the inhales, deep in the exhales. As you exhale, reach your right hand to your right foot. Left hand reaches forward, thumb down, wrap around. Create space, bow in. 
Think of the elbow drawing towards the ground as you create more length in your lower back. As you breathe into your body, bring fresh awareness to the hamstrings, to the lower back. See if you can release the areas of your body that don't need to be activated. Maybe it's your neck. Maybe it's the space in between your eyebrows. Just release that area. Relax. Deep inhale. On up we go. Step the left foot over the right. Wrap your right arm around. Create more space in the upper body. Toes pointing up. Left hand comes behind you. Again, you can bring the left hand to the rib cage, gently twisting open placing your gaze over that left shoulder. If you'd like to deepen the twist, you can bring your right elbow to the outside of your left knee and extend the hand forward. Three more deep breaths here. Inhale brings you back to center. Nice. Now from here, we'll put a bend in the right knee. And I like to heel toe the foot over so that my knee is pointing forward. And kind of give yourself a little lift of the hips to make sure that both sit bones are on the mat. And this is good to have some arm strength here. Just energetically pushing the knees so that you can find a stack here. Deepen the inhales, lift the chest. All these postures should feel good, so you don't wanna go to the point that it hurts. You wanna go to the point that you can feel a sensation, yet you can breathe through. Gently bow in. Relax the head and the neck. Allow your breath to fill your back body. All the way from your tailbone, through your rib cage. Fill the space right behind your heart. Relax the shoulders, the neck. Create even more space. Keep some activation in your toes. Three more deep breaths. Two more deep breaths. One more deep breath. Sway both fingertips to the left side. Create a little bit more space as you reach your right fingertips as far away from your body as possible. Deepening the twist. Inhale back to center. Bring both fingertips over to the right side. Left elbow comes to your left foot. Maybe you can stack the hands and find a gentle twist for three, for two, and one. Inhale brings you back through center. Gently unravel the legs. Both feet go forward. I like to scoop those glutes, shake it out. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Fresh legs. Feels good. Put a gentle bend in your knees and bring your hips forward just a wee bit. And without bringing the feet together, pull the toes towards the shins and bring your elbows towards the knees. Open up through the inner edge of the foot, all the way up through the calf, through the knee to the inner groin. Use your breath, deep inhale, lift the chest, lengthen. As you exhale, fold forward. Nice, if you'd like to deepen this, we can bring the elbows underneath 
Expand the hands out and bring the heels forward. Coming into Karmasana, turtle pose. So whichever pose you are in, take your time and be there for 10 deep breaths. Use your breath, breathe into the lower back. Five more deep breaths. See if you can press your heels forward. If this is easy for you, you could even lift your heels. I'm not there yet. <laughs> Working on it. Every single day brings progress. As long as we're present with our practice, we find presence in our life. For three more breaths, two more breaths, last deep inhale, exhale, gently release as you bring the heels in closer to you, ah, I'll bring the arms up, I like to shake both legs forward, again, scoop the hips, you can bring the feet together now for a full Paschimottanasana, so we exhale forward, relaxing into this deep forward fold. Finding engagement in the feet. Last five breaths. Drawing the navel in towards the midline. Relax the neck. Think of broadening the upper back as you pull the crown of the head closer to your toes. Elbows ground down towards the mat. Last two deep inhales. And one. Inhale, rise up. As you exhale, bring the feet as wide as the mat and bring your hips closer to your heels. Sway, hips side and then side, just releasing the lower back. Any tension that resides there will slowly release a little sway of the hips. As you can see, I'm keeping my shins parallel to the front of the mat, keeping engagement in the toes. Bring your feet parallel. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, round. Bring your hands far behind you. Draw the shoulder blades on your back body. Spread out your fingers. Bring the feet together. As you press into your feet, see if you can reach the toes forward and lift the hips up. For three, for two, and one. Gently lower. Bring your feet as wide as your mat. Scoop the hips once more. Release all the way back. Gently draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a few rolls on your back body. Come into the happiest of babies, drawing the hands to the bottom of the feet. As you exhale, draw the knees towards your underarms. Relaxing and releasing here for three, for two. Drawing your whole spine flush with the mat. Last deep inhale, deep exhale, release. Find Shavasana. For those of you at home who are watching this video, I'd like you to take a three to five minute Shavasana. 
So if this video ends, you can still take the Shavasana and continue in it. Or maybe you press pause and just breathe into it. Deep Shavasana after hamstrings is key to relaxing the muscles and really finding the integration of the length that you've just created. Surrender fully to your breath. Roll onto whichever side of your body feels most open. Allow your bicep to be like a pillow as you bring your knees into your chest. At your own pace, inhale to a comfortable seat where your spine can be upright. Bring your hands to heart center. Bow your chin to your chest in gratitude for your practice. Giving thanks for your body that's capable, for your mind that's clear, and for your heart that finds focus and brings your intention right here. Bring the same sense of mindful awareness into the rest of your day, knowing that your present moment is all that you have. So as we progress with positivity, we allow ourselves to come closer to our success. Blessings and namaste.